Right guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel. Today we've got Yusuf in the chair. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. You good? You? Yeah, I'm very well. Thanks, man. Good, good. So, what is the plan? What are we doing? Uh, so, normally, uh, for years, I've just been getting like a normal, like, my hair normally is up. Uh, okay. Lawny, I do like a messy spike on top, and then I've always been getting a skin fade for years. Okay. Um, obviously, I grew it out for this uh, particular thing, but yeah. yeah, I've been thinking recently, like, I'm kind of done with skin fades. Okay. But I want to still get like a short on the sides, but I wasn't sure what kind of length for anything okay. but yeah, i still yeah. want that same sort of upwards messy hairstyle because my hairline's not too very like, strong yeah yeah yeah, very so strong, yeah. yeah. Okay. i just wanted to see like what the options were in terms of like having it like a messy spike on top as mm -hmm. well as um seeing what other options to have it on down and stuff uh, okay okay i do have some pictures yeah let's have a look yes let's see i think that was one of the videos i saw you did oh yeah we did that one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so i guess something like pretty similar to that or okay similar to that because i know my hair might be a bit shorter than that um, yeah yeah so okay. and as well as uh with my beard as well i grew it out especially for this i've been trying to get like a stubble look and okay i never knew how to do it with a trimmer whereas this one he's kind of done it like in a way where it's like a bit darker there but a little bit shorter up there yeah so yeah. i wanted to have like an exact sort of style like that to see if it could be done professionally but in terms of hair so how long have you actually been growing this out for uh so i think my last haircut was about four weeks ago I believe. four weeks ago okay uh, yeah okay I'll be completely honest with you. It's very hard for me to make a massive difference in your hair today. Okay. Because of how short it is. Okay. Because of the last cut is, it's been taken quite high. Yeah. On the sides there. So okay. the sides have been taken really high there. Yeah, yeah. And obviously a lot of length hanging over. So you haven't, you've got a messy haircut, but it's, it's kind of cut messy more yeah, than yeah. it being tech, more than it being textured. Yeah, see yeah. If that makes sense. So it's gone really high, higher on this side than that side. Mm -hmm. As you can see there to there, it's a lot, it's like, kind of there to yeah. there. That's the angle it's at now. And obviously at the top, it's being very, very heavily thinned out to the front, to here. So for me to actually put a spin of a haircut on you today, I honestly don't know what I could do if you don't want skin. Okay. I'll be honest with you. Because it's so short yeah. everywhere that it is quite hard to change around. For It's hard for me, basically what I'm trying to say is it's hard for me to take out your other barber's haircut. Yeah, 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 no, I get you. Okay, because it cool. is so short. Yeah, yeah. If it wasn't so high, it mightn't be too bad if it was a couple of months in. Because the thing is, when you see a lot of the videos that we film, yeah, yeah. Um, and this is good for any references. I got a lot of clients who come in, like say they, they want a new haircut after like a, a four week break or something. Yeah, yeah. The problem is, is that every haircut, especially when it's been taken so high, it takes a while to grow out. Yeah, yeah. Because it's so heavily cut into this look. And then when you're trying to have a change, it's hard to change something when it's so heavily cut into an older style. Got you. And if it's only four weeks, it doesn't grow long enough to yeah. take out the other bits of the haircut yeah, that yeah. you need. Because there's bits that I wouldn't do to your hair now that you've already got in. Yeah. yeah. That I would then that I wouldn't I just wouldn't come into my head to do. Yeah. Because I'd rather keep it a lower down and whatever. So yeah. whatever the opinion of the other barber was, it's obviously work because you're happy. Mm -hmm. But for me, I wouldn't do that. Okay. It doesn't mean it's bad. It just means I would I would do something slightly differently. Sure. Yeah. But I can't do that differently today because of how high the back and sides yeah, are. Yeah. If you know okay. what I mean. Because it is you've got great hair. I just need more length through these corners here. Yeah. So I have to give you what you want because at the minute you've got like fringe that's quite disconnected everywhere at the yeah. moment. Do you know what I mean? As you pick it up, it is cut into what you want. Yeah. But the problem is you can't grow it into something different when it's so heavily cut into one look. Okay, cool, cool. That's the problem. Yeah. So I think the I honestly think the only thing, the best recommendation I could do for you is either grow it longer and come and see us again. Okay. And let it grow out. Okay. Or just tidy it up. It's a tough one. It is yeah, tough because yeah. four weeks just isn't long enough for a new haircut. Oh, okay. It's just not long enough because what you've what you've asked for is kind of what you've already got now. Yeah. You don't want a skin fade. That's not a skin fade. Yeah. It's only four weeks old, so it's only about a three in mm -hmm. length. So there's nothing that I would do that would change apart from maybe putting a one around the sides of the back or a two. It's not going to be a big enough change for you to go. Oh, I like that. That works. Mm -hmm. I, I get where that's. Going. Well, I mean, I was kind of thinking I'd for a two to be fair. Yeah. On the sides, because yeah. So I don't think you're going to see a difference. I'll still do it for. Obviously, you're here and you've yeah, come a long yeah. way. I'll do it for you, but I don't think you're going to get the. I don't think you're going to see much change. Well, do you I know mean, what I mean? It's all right. I won't take that. <laughs> no, no, no of course, it. of course, yeah, of course. I just want to. I obviously, you know, when we do, when, when you do come in for a haircut, yeah. you want to put every barber who, who cares wants to put their own yeah, stamp yeah. on it. They want to yeah. give you the best that they can. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. When you when you haven't got enough length to do that, it's mm. very hard to do yeah. to to do, to give you that, that to yeah, kind yeah. of finish. You know, um, so. Yeah, if you're happy to do a two, yeah. that would be a good length because again, you don't really see scalp exposure. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say I think it is about a three now though. Okay. Let me just see. It's exactly a three. Okay. On the back and sides. 
So again, it's probably it's about right. It's like a grade a week in yeah, a yeah. way from a, from a skin fade. So yeah. zero, one, two, three. It's yeah. about it's about that. Got you. The only thing I would say, because again, if we're trying to stay away from skin fade, is a taper. Yeah. That's the only thing. But then the beard picture you showed me doesn't work with the taper. Oh, okay, yeah. Because it's all one length. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so. Okay, no, that's fine. But I'm, a bit, I'm a bit stuck on what's Would it be what's possible, instead of uh, doing the hair, then could we spend, I guess, more time doing the stubble look then that I showed? I yeah, guess that we could would do be that, Because yeah. obviously that's a longer length than... Yeah, that's, that's more of a blank canvas than anything, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure, so yeah. So I guess if it would be okay to get, make that look, uh, that stubble look I showed you, uh, and then I guess just do a two on there, would be, I wouldn't mind that, so... Okay, yeah, I'd yeah, be happy with that yeah, should we do that then, yeah? yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Well, we'll do... We'll do um, Let's do the hair first, okay. and then we'll come on to the beard, and we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll properly discuss the beard and figure cool. out what we can do with that as well. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, yeah, cool, good. man. All right. Well, what I'll do is I'll do a two round the sides in the back. Uh -huh. I'll taper it, tidy it, mm -hmm. so it looks nice and so it looks fresh. Right. And mm -hmm. then whatever I, I can do through the top, I will to kind of still give you a little yeah. bit like more longevity to while you yeah, yeah. you know if you if you do decide to go a bit longer cool. or whatever. Yeah, I'd really um, that. Yeah. That'll, that'll work quite well. Yeah. And then we'll spend most like the rest of the time on the beard. Yeah, yeah. Right, guys. So slight turn up for the books on this one. This is going to be probably more of a beard tutorial than a hair tutorial. Um, but yeah, no, all it is, is uh, there's just not enough length to really change it around or do something different because the whole idea of your new look is to have more hair. So with that being said, we need a bit more hair. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to tidy the back and sides up on a two. I'm going to tidy up the edges and taper the, the, the sideburns and the neck. But um, there's, a, there's a beard um, style that Yusuf likes, and I want to try and go with that if we can, because um, that was the kind of that was the idea, wasn't yeah, it? Having a shorter, mm -hmm. shorter stubble. So we'll uh, we'll have a proper we'll have a proper consultation on the beard in a second. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the top. I'm just going to try and balance it out a little bit, make sure everything's sitting nice. Maybe slightly retexturize it if need be, um, and then I'll put a number two on the sides of the back and taper that down. But I'm just going to take a little bit off the the front, just through the middle. So I'm just working from the front and I'm just kind of coming back in just to um, work through this, this sort of round of the head here. I'm just going to connect this fringe in a bit more. Section to this, just a little bit. Because the middle bit's quite heavy still. Right, now I'm going to try this off. I'll put a little bit of salt spray in there as well. So bring out a bit more texture as well. So, a bit of salt spray. And then I'm going to Work on the back and sides in two. And then we'll probably chat about the beard. It's interesting as well because um, beards are quite, um, they're interesting how you've got to try and replicate something. It's not as easy as a haircut. Because mm -hmm. haircuts, obviously, you've got, you know, styles are a little bit easier when you, when you can replicate something. But on a beard, it's a bit more challenged. So hopefully I can get it to look how we want it today. And also try and guide you out how to maintain it yourself. Yeah. So let's do a two on the back and side, see how much comes off. 
it's for me it's too high there. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably gonna blend it to here and try and grow this little bit up for you. Yep. Okay. Guard on, two guard on. Leave it down. I'm gonna work up and off here. I'm gonna open off into that one. That is there. So hopefully it's a big enough change to see. Uh, that's tidy, that's the main thing. What I'll probably do, Yusuf, is um, if it's all with you, just put a, a one and a half on the very bottom. Okay. I think that'll kind of make it look a little bit neater. Yeah, yeah. If that's all right. Yeah, whatever you think is the best. I'm just gonna work through the lever. Make it look nice and neat and tidy. And we'll just take it the very bottom out. And there, so it'll finish out nice and neat and symmetrical. Just around the ears, I'm just going to go on a one and a half just to give it a bit of a cleaner finish. Let's <laughs> reach it in. I'm going to move on to my size one comb and just start to take on the edges. Do you know, do you know what would be nice though? Do you know if you, do you know what I think you'd really suit? Mm -hmm. If you grew your hair for a good like eight weeks or so mm -hmm. yeah. and just like kind of left it, I think you'd be so surprised how easy your hair would be to, to manage. Yeah. Because yeah. um, you've got that type of hair texture that you could do a few things with your hair. And like, I mean, it's standing up really easily yeah. and it's got enough, I think your hair's fine enough to be able to do that, mm -hmm. to kind of pull that off like a bit more length in it. Yeah. I think I think it looked great, I really do. Okay, so eight weeks. I think, I'd say about eight weeks, yeah. yeah. And then you'd have a lot more length that you can actually cut into a shape, yeah, yeah. more than trying to grow it into a shape, you know? Got you, yeah. But I've just kept the length through there now. Yeah, so yeah. Just trying to fill it out a little bit for yeah. you, all right? And then that's the taper into the yeah, I'm really, yeah, I really right. like that. So I couldn't do much through these bits, but this yeah, bit I've kind of started to yeah. level out a little bit more for you. Oh, it looks pretty um, good. It looks, it looks nice and tidy, man. Yeah, that's yeah. the, that is the, again, that's the main thing. Yeah. It's nice really and tidy. Like that, yeah. Blend it down, that's a two, and then just tape it out. Okay. Very I mean, that's pretty also. much what I was kind of going for, to be fair. Really yeah, like yeah, that. 100%. Yeah. I just wish I had a bit more on top of that. Yeah, I, done. No, I wish I could have done like, no, no, right, look, it, it is one of them. Who's to know, right? Yeah, You're not yeah. meant to know this. That's yeah. what I'm here for, right? Yeah, to teach yeah. this and educate this. So I'll grab your phone again. Oh, yeah. Oh, exactly. It's just the picture. <laughs> no, yeah. So that's the sort of length and beard that you're after. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so as you can see, the beard, it's almost like the beard separated from the sideburns. So it looks like it's its overgrown from a shaved face. But as you can see, it's it's got a little bit of detailing going on, hasn't it, as well? Okay. Hmm. It's tough because your beard is nowhere near as thick as yeah, that yeah. at all. That's why he can achieve that. Because if yeah, we, because yeah. even you can even see where he shaved his cheeks. That's how dark. Mm -hmm. Like one of my clients has got a beard like that. He, call, he calls it blue beard because it looks so dark. It, it literally looks blue because it's right. that dark. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we'd ever be able to create a look that short oh. on your beard to make it look exactly like that. Oh. Well, I mean, I was just kind of like wanted to have like a professional stubble sort of look, whatever you, I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly like completely copy and paste of that. Okay. Just, yeah, I've been, because I've just, in general, uh, I've, I've had beard looks before and shaped up and I've done it, but I'm over that okay. phase now where I don't really like having you prefer to have this more. long. Okay, and I okay. I just want a new, like a decent stubble look and I wanted to get it done professionally. So I okay. guess whatever you can do professionally. We can do, but, but, but along the lines of stubble. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. That's that, I think having a bit more of a vague idea yeah. is better than having a, a solid sort of yeah, a, yeah, yeah. an idea because I'm, I might start with a two and go, mm, I could probably go with yours. Mm. So it might just be a bit of a kind of trial and yeah, error yeah, yeah. until we get to a certain yeah, length. But I, I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling I kind of know where you're going with it. Um, and then what we'll do is, um, yeah, I'll go for that kind of stubble. I, I normally go for my beard. I don't know what our beards are like, but I'll know as soon as I put a two on it, I guess. But I normally go for like a, um, 
a, a, a one and a half on the cheeks and a one on, the, on here. Mm -hmm. That to me gives a more of a natural finish. And then oh. on yours here, I'd probably do a one here, maybe even a 0.5 on the moustache, because mm -hmm. that would give you that kind of slightly dark hair, bit okay. shorter than the moustache. But you'd, you'd have a stubble effect. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, the, yeah. that's the key thing. Exactly. Beards are very, uh, they are very unique to that person. So yeah. it's hard to copy a beard unless you've got the exact same type of like thickness and stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean? Course, yeah. Probably going to go to a one and a half, I think. I don't know if the two still looks a little bit longer. It doesn't look like stubble to me. It looks more like a longer stubble. I'm going to go to a one and a half. I think that'll be better. That way, maybe even actually not doing open fire on that, like I said. Yeah, I'll do an open fire. And just in the darker areas around the bottom, just going to do a one, just down here like that, and then one and a half over the other.
run for me. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> so it's a big change after. It's nice, isn't it? it yeah, is yeah. Nice. So that's a one. That's a one on here. Mm -hmm. A 0 0.5 here and a one and a half everywhere else. Oh, okay. And that's what gives that fullness of the stubble. So being all like a full beard. And if you just keep on top of that, the sleeper hairs, the, sh the short hairs through here, mm -hmm. will start to fill out as well. Right. So the more you do, the more you keep on top of that, yeah. the more it'll work. But I've just done the detail at the bottom of the neck, under there, so it's nice and straight and nice and clean. Oh, yeah. And then obviously I've done as straight as I possibly could, and the cheeks are going too low. Mm -hmm. But then I, short, I just shaped up the moustache a little oh, bit. Oh, well. I see. Yeah, yeah, no, I really, really Looks like nice, doesn't it, man? Yeah, it works yeah. really well, doesn't it? Looks very sensible. Yeah, I know it does, doesn't it, yeah? That's exactly it. That's right, let me style your hair out for you as well now. So, I'd probably say the length you're at now. I mean, a powder could work all right. I would probably use on that piece for the time, for, the, okay. for, the, for what you're at now, though, in terms of the thickness and everything mm -hmm. that you're trying to achieve. I, would, I don't know if a powder would make, it would work, but I think that the hole would be strong enough for you. Yeah, yeah. I would probably go for a matte paste. Yeah, okay. Or yeah. something like that. Is that all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah, all good. And all this will do, I think it'll just hold the structure of what you need it, especially mm -hmm. when it gets a bit longer. Because powders are great, don't get me wrong, but. Yeah. I don't know whether it's too short at the moment to actually do anything with, to actually yeah. get any benefit from the powder. Yeah. Um, I think you'd have to use it a bit too much, then it'd go a bit too dry. Yeah. Whereas this has got a slight little bit of a kind of, it's still matte, but it looks healthy, you know, it gives like a healthy finish. And it starts to give, you can see more texture separation oh, yeah. through it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just think that sits a lot better than what I think it would do if it was a, if it was too dry, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I can see a difference. <laughs> you can see a difference, guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, just just grow the grow the, the top and the back and sides out for a while, mate, and mm -hmm. just see how you get on. See where you can go with it. Yeah, yeah. Looks nice. Looks yeah, really nice. No, it looks so much better now. Yeah, it does. <laughs> looks very clean, very, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just looking so light. Sloppy. Big difference, mate. Big difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah 100%. No, I'm really, really happy with that. Thank you, mate. So Thank you. I'm glad we could do something that changed yeah. your look a little bit, you know? Yeah. So, no, I appreciate that, man. It was nice. It's just, um, again, it's, even though it is only a short stubble, there's sometimes a little bit more to a short stubble than people think. Yeah. You know, there, there is change in the length, it is yeah. being a lot more like, um, again, tailoring it a little bit more to the person's uh, thickness of beard. Yeah. Um, in terms of uh, maintaining that the stubble look, then yeah. what would be like the routine you'd suggest? I'd probably do it maybe, I don't know, how fast does your beard grow? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, after a week, it's already got like a is it quite full then? Yeah, not full full of it, like... Um, I would probably say... I don't know, yeah, I mean, weekly is okay, because yeah. not, you're not doing anything too harsh to it. Mm. Um, you just want to get the, a good set of clippers. Okay. So I'd probably go down the route of, like, bar Babyliss are really good. You can get some nice home clippers yeah, yeah, yeah. that are still pretty decent. You just need to make sure you've got a lever on them. Yeah, that you can actually the one I have, move it's it around. clippers, but it doesn't have a lever. It's yeah. like a dial. Oh, okay. So mm. So They're all right, but I'd go for one with a lever. Yeah, yeah. So everyone recommends that. Yeah, I try and go for one that's more of a professional clipper, uh -huh. if you can. There's some good ones on Amazon that aren't too expensive. Yeah. As I mean, long as they've got a lever on. I bought this from Amazon. Was it, yeah? Yeah, yeah I had the dial. The dial, yeah. yeah. Okay. Try the one with the lever. That would help a lot. And then that way you can do your one, your half, you know, you know what I mean? You can do that as well yeah, yeah. by just moving the lever. It's okay. hard to get it otherwise. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Okay, cool. Thank you very yeah, much, buddy. So that was great. Really, really like it. Thank you. Thank you, man.